Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start decorating for fall and I have been so excited for this video because this is not only my first fall clean to decorate in our new home, but also the first time that I'm decorating at all for any seasons in our new house in Arizona. So we moved here about three or four months ago and so we haven't had a chance to decorate for any seasons yet, obviously. And fall is one of my absolute favorites to decorate for. So I'm really excited just to see how everything's gonna turn out with all of the neutral fall decor and all of those warm cozy colors. I'll be taking you guys along with me the entire way but of course before we get into the decorating I do want to clean everything up and just make sure that we're starting with a clean slate so I will be giving you guys some cleaning motivation and then I also have a few delicious fall recipes to share with you guys this year so definitely stay tuned for that as well but without further ado let's jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. Under the stars, I see everything that led to where we are, and I wouldn't change a thing. Under the moon, all the wishing that we did is coming true, like I got magic up my sleeve. And you can't fight the moonlight when it's moon. So as I'm cleaning up the living room, I'm just starting to pull everything off the shelves and normally I would just pull off the things that I don't think I'm going to use, but I actually think I'm going to end up transitioning most of this decor out so I can go ahead and add a lot of the fall decor in. And because I am doing a big transition in decor, I just figured I might as well take advantage of this time and just go ahead and clear these shelves completely off and that way I can dust everything off and just give it a really good clean. Yeah. 
It's been a while since we felt the way we did back when we were dumb and younger. It's been a while since. So I feel like, especially during the holidays, I always feel incredibly grateful because one of the things that I love the most and just one of my biggest hobbies is home decor and decorating my space. But we didn't always have home decor in our house. Back when Kyle and I first got married, we did not have much at all. And I've shared this in the past, but I remember going to friends' homes and just seeing their homes beautifully decorated and we didn't have any extra money at the time to purchase any home decor. And I just remember feeling kind of bummed out that I wasn't able to do that at the time and just hoping that one day I would be able to actually cover my shelves in home decor and just make our home very homey and cozy for our family to enjoy. And now years later, we are able to do that. And so every single year that I pull out all of our decor, I just get an overwhelming feeling of thankfulness and gratefulness for that. And so I did just want to take a moment to share that with you. If you are at a stage in your life where you're not really able to have the extras, don't feel like you are alone. I know so many of us have been there. Probably a majority of us have been there or are there currently. And since I know this time of year can be very hard emotionally, I just wanted to take a moment to be able to give back to you guys. So I'm going to be sharing a giveaway in this video. I'm going to be picking two of you to win $50 cash and that way it could just kind of help you get a little bit of home decor for the holidays or you can do whatever you want with the money but I just want to be able to give back to you guys a little bit more especially during the holiday time so all you have to do to enter this giveaway is just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because this is a subscriber giveaway and then make sure that you comment on this video and also my next video that I post on my channel and you can comment whatever you'd like let me know what you're doing today let me know what the weather's like where you're at or let me know if you have any fun plans for the fall just whatever you want but I will have all the information for this giveaway in the description box below but good luck to all of you and thank you so much for being here the same effect on me it's just something about the way that he's making me feel but it's like that i just want to shout his name oh, my body's giving up on me because i don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, i want to run him through his hair but i'm trying not to stare mm -mm. i get a little flash when i see Shaking from the urge of being with him I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run him through his hair But don't stare I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried
like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip on myself I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried Am I a little crazy to believe that I could wake up with him by my side I know I could get his attention if I worked it all out And we got a little tipsy on a Saturday night Yeah, I want him and I need him He's got a one-way, one-way, one-way ticket to my heart Heart Ticket to my heart He's got a one-way, one-way, one-way Chest on my chest Be my lover, yeah Be my best friend I will wait on your border Until you will let me in Hand on my head Chest on my chest To the sound of voices and of drums. So you guys will have to let me know what the weather is like where you're at. Here in Arizona, it's still like 90s. Sometimes we're still having over 100 degree days. And it's very different for us because this is the first fall that we're experiencing here as a family. Now I have shared that I've spent so many of my summers here growing up just visiting my dad, but I haven't spent a whole ton of falls here just because I was usually in school and so I didn't come down for the fall time very often. And so although I am pretty familiar with the temperature here in Arizona, it is just very different for us to not be like starting to feel pretty cozy and getting that little nightly chill and stuff in the air but one thing that has really helped it feel a lot more like fall here is that our kids have already been back in school for over a month now so they started back like the very beginning of August and once our kids go back to school I always feel like it's fall so that has definitely helped but I will say that as soon as you walk out the door and that heat hits you you just kind of forget that it's fall so I am doing my absolute best just to kind of bring fall inside our house and make it cozy in here and I will say once I got everything all decorated it is feeling so so cozy and it's been making me want to cozy up with a blanket on the couch and just watch a movie I'm getting really excited for Christmas and Halloween and just all of the fun holidays that are coming up but anyway I kind of went off on a little tangent there but definitely let me know what the weather has been like where you're at are you already feeling that crispy fall weather or is it still feeling like summer where you're at too And I play them for people And we found a church And then we found a steeple And these songs I've been writing Are paying the bill all right, we have the kitchen and living room all cleaned up. I do have to clean out the hallway and like this cove area. This is just left over from whenever we did our office last week. But having these empty is just reminding me of when we first moved in here. It feels like very, very bare in here already. And I normally wouldn't actually pull everything out, but because I was gonna pull a lot of it out, I decided to just go ahead and pull everything out and get everything like really nice and cleaned out in there. But now I am like really extra itching to get all of the decor back in there because it's just looking very, very bare. So anyway, I'm loving how everything's looking now. I always love big cleaning days like this because although it's not a lot of work, it is like very rewarding in the end. So anyway, let's go ahead and start tackling this drop zone. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. 
say I don't know if I told ya That I think you're beautiful And how oh, I can't wait to hold ya Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise So mopping our floors is something that I have to convince myself of every time. I'm pretty much never jumping for joy to mop our floors. I don't know what it is. I've told you guys this before, but it's just like one of my least favorite chores to mop our floor. I don't mind vacuuming, but mopping is just not my jam. But I will say this mop has made it so satisfying to mop our floors. And it really does make a huge difference, especially with the flooring that's in our home now. It's like a very dark flooring and it's also such a similar tone throughout. And so it really shows off any dirt. So with that being said, at the same time, even though it does show off a lot of dirt when it's dirty, once it's mopped, it just looks so incredibly good. It makes the house feel a million times cleaner and it is very motivating and just it does kind of make you want to clean those floors and mop them a little bit more often. So even though it is a really big job, especially because I was going to be going ahead and just decorating everything, I wanted the floors to match all the decor and just look really nice. So that's why I took the time to go ahead and vacuum and mop even though mopping is not my thing. <laughs> So I have all of my fallout. A lot is from previous years, and then I did pick up some new things this year because I'm kind of going for more like orange and warm tones in this house. 
so I did pick up a few new things that I can definitely use a lot that I had in previous years, but I am so bummed out. I actually thought that our coffee table that we had ordered had arrived because the door rang and I saw something had been delivered and it wasn't the coffee table, but it was actually something else that I'm really excited about. However, it was broke. So I'm gonna show you guys what I ordered and what it came like. I'm definitely gonna have to get it replaced, um, but it was from Amazon, so I'm sure they won't have an issue with it. It's just such a bummer that it broke. Okay, so this is the first one. It came as a set, and my plan is to stick them behind our stove just to kind of brighten the space a little bit and add some texture back there, but this is the first one. It's actually, I think it's like real marble. It's very heavy and then it has mango wood on the side, and this is the one I was so excited about. It's so beautiful, but it came broke right down the middle like that. So I'm super, super bummed about it, but you can tell just like how beautiful this was going to be. So I'll have to talk to them and see if I can get another one sent out and replaced for it, but it's so pretty. So I'll probably end up adding that in. This one just won't be today, obviously, but Anyway, let's go ahead and start decorating. I think I'm gonna start with the shelves and get as far as I can with those first and then kind of move on from there. So decorating a home for the first time is so fun. It's just like inspiring and it's really fun to kind of try some new things. But at the same time, there's no just kind of doing what's familiar and what you already know because every space is totally new. So that's kind of the struggle that I found myself in whenever I was decorating our new home. It was so much fun just to try things out and just see how everything was turning out. But it was also giving me a tough time just like not really knowing where to start, not knowing how to place things. And so as you will see, I really struggled with these shelves and it was a lot of trial and error, but I kept with it. And in the end, I ended up loving how everything turned out in the shelving area. It just was very subtle, but very cozy and warm. And I'm really, really loving the style that I'm kind of going with this year of like very earthy and neutral and just a lot of fun texture. So if you are struggling while you're decorating this fall or for any season or any space, just stick with it. Eventually you will find what works really well but it definitely takes some patience and a lot of trial and error. be doing my best to link everything that I can down below. A lot of things were from previous years and then several of the things that I found were actually from like Home Goods and TJ Maxx just because you can find a really good deal at those stores usually. But some of the items did come from stores like Target or Walmart or Kirkland's, just kind of different places like that. So I will be doing my best to link everything below that I can find. Sunshine, on a good time. I'm chasing butterflies.
right, I have all of the shelving finally decorated. This part definitely takes the longest, I'm finding out, just because it's like such a large area with a lot of different decor pieces. But once you get it figured out, it does look really nice and it's just like subtle but i love like all the orange tones in there and then i popped like a few pops of black and then some white to brighten everything so i'm i love it so much if you guys love to let me know what you think now that this is done there's not a whole lot more that i want to do in the living room other than i do want to change out some throw pillows so the next thing that we're going to do is come into the kitchen i don't think i'm going to use a lot of this so i'll end up storing a lot of that for once we're out of like the seasons like christmas and fall and winter and all that but i think i'm gonna move some of the plants and decorate a little bit over there and then just a few more touches in the kitchen and then yeah we'll be mostly decorated for fall So here I'm just starting to go through my decor and I'm kind of deciding what things I'm going to be keeping and what things I'm planning to donate. I am still planning on decorating our bedroom for the fall and maybe like our powder room as well. So that's what I'm planning to use my other decor for, but anything that I think I won't use, I'm definitely going to donate and pass along. I'll probably either give it to my sisters that live here close to me or I'll end up donating it to someone else in need. But either way, I'm going to be pretty picky on the things that I choose to keep that I'm not going to use this year. So in the kitchen, I wanted to keep things very simple. I didn't really want to overdo it and clutter the space. So I just had a few subtle hints of fall in the kitchen, but I really wanted to kind of warm things up and also brighten things in here a little bit with our dark countertops. And so one of the things that I wanted to do was add these cutting boards behind our stove. I really felt like it would add a lot of warmth and texture into the space. But I did have a fun, exciting thing to share. I've been talking to Kyle about our kitchen, kind of changing things up. You guys know I've talked about this um, ever since moving into our new house, that we have been wanting to kind of change things up in our kitchen. And one of the things that we're really wanting to do is actually cut the island down to be one level. We had that in our last house and we really just found it so much more useful and functional for our family. And I also love the look of it as well. So we are gonna go ahead and start with that very, very soon. So stay tuned for that, I am so excited. We're planning to get back into the habit of vlogging a bit more and sharing those things over on our vlog channel. So make sure that you're subscribed over on the Kyle and Amanda vlog channel if you're not already and that way you don't miss out. We're planning to share a lot of like kitchen remodeling stuff over there. And then of course some of the things will end up on this channel as well. But if you're subscribed to both channels, then you'll definitely not miss out on any of it.
Okay, so it is the next day and everything is looking so fall-like in our house right now. But once I was finished decorating last night, I just realized there were a few things that I wanted to add to a few spaces. So I ended up going out and grabbing just a couple more things for that. So we will be jumping back into decorating and getting everything totally finished for fall. But before we do that, I do wanna jump into the kitchen and start making the recipes that I wanted to share because one of them is a crock pot recipe and I need to get that going so we can have that for dinner tonight. So the first recipe that I'm gonna be sharing is a delicious fall chili. It's so, so yummy and super easy to put together. And of course, because it is a crock pot recipe, there's really not a whole lot to it. And the second one is a pumpkin overnight oats. It's very, very simple, very easy to do and super delicious. And it just makes your morning start off feeling very cozy like fall. So I'm super excited to share those recipes with you guys. And then once we're done with the recipes, we will jump back into decorating and finish getting our living space totally done for fall. All right, now that we have the chili cooking in the crock pot, I'm gonna go ahead and make the overnight oat recipe. So a lot of times what I do is I actually will prep out all of our dry ingredients into little bowls. And then whenever I'm ready to make them like for the next morning, I will then add any of the liquid ingredients in. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I am gonna make two of them. Usually Kyle and I will have them in the morning. The kids are not the biggest fans of it. I think cause it's like cold oatmeal. You could always heat it on the stove, I just, I don't know, I like it cool personally. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a few for like prepping for the week. And then I am gonna make a few as I would normally make them and we'll have them tomorrow morning.
kitchen is already smelling so good with the chili cooking and stirring up the oat bowls that I just made. It smells literally just like a pumpkin pie. So it's super good smelling in here. But now I'm gonna go ahead and just start showing you guys a few of the things that I picked up and then we will get those all put up. So this is the first thing that I got. These are actually live flowers. I was in the floral section of our grocery store and I was about to pick up just like some regular flowers. And then I saw this one and I thought this is beautiful. I love the vase that it comes with. And then I just loved like the natural greenery in it. And of course, like the beautiful sunflowers and dried flowers in here is so pretty. I think I'm gonna take this little scarecrow out just cause it's not really going with the rest of what I'm doing in here, but I really love that. I was thumbing through the magazines He felt like talking and offered me his name so, right, so as you can see, I did not get a whole ton of stuff. I really wanted to get something big though to go right here. And I really wanted to get a wreath. I don't know if I'll regret doing this because I'm not the best wreath maker, but I was just so sticker shocked at all of the prices of the wreaths at the stores, or at least the ones that I liked. And so I decided I may be going to try to make my own wreath. I picked up these little leather pumpkin picks. I really love the color of them. And then I do have these florals. I just had these already. And I also have this one down here. So I have those already and I figure I could make something work. If not, I'll just keep trying at it. But that is going to be what I attempt to do today. We'll see. I also picked up these cloths or these towels just to add some more color in the kitchen and put them on the stove. And then this pumpkin was not really planned, but it was so cute. I just found this one at Hobby Lobby. Actually, most of these came from Hobby Lobby other than these towels came from Home Goods. And then I thought this one was just so beautiful as well. I loved like the copper orange look of it and I just love that it was just simple leaves. So anyway, that's everything I picked up. So now, Let's finish decorating. So I asked him how he was, and he smiled and said, Well, son, I've been better, I've been worse, I've chased after pretty girls, seen a couple places that I never thought I'd see. I've walked into harder times, I've walked out the other side, it seems like. Yeah, looking down from 30,000 feet, life's been good to me. I've been out a month or so, another night, another show. A hundred different cities, they all just seem the same. He asked me what it must be like. So this next space that I wanted to focus on was this area next to our hall closet, kind of right before you get to the kitchen and living room. It's just this wall next to the stairs and I've never really done anything with that space so far, but it's definitely asking to be decorated for the holidays. And so I ended up just putting this simple fall sign and then I'm going to add a wreath that I'm going to attempt to make myself. So wish me luck with that. So for the wreath, I just chose a bird's nest wreath as my base. And then I am just kind of adding in little picks of florals in here. And these little picks were actually sticking really well into the wreath, so I didn't feel like I needed to glue them or strap them down or anything. I just kind of stuck them right into the wreath. And then I just clipped any of the stems on the back that were kind of sticking out. And then I also have these pumpkin picks that I'm adding in as well, kind of as the feature of the wreath. And then to add filler in the middle and just make it all look kind of seamless, I am actually just using some old flowers that I had that I'm not going to be using anymore. These were actually going to be in my donate pile and I decided I could definitely use these for a wreath and I ended up loving how it turned out so you guys will have to let me know what you think sometimes it takes the sky to see what's on the ground I've 
chased after pretty girls I've seen a couple places that I never thought I'd see I've walked in the heart of times I've walked out the other side it seems like okay so this is how the wreath turned out I actually think I like it a lot <laughs> I was actually hoping that these little pieces right here were like a more white or cream and I when I got home and realized they were darker I was like kind of bummed because it just kind of blends more with this but it's okay because it'll look great like against the white door and I just think overall I really really like it and it was done with everything well I had like all the expensive stuff pretty much I just needed to get this which I think was like on sale less than six dollars and then these pumpkin things were at Hobby Lobby for half off or 40% off. So pretty good. I like it. Let's go ahead and put it up on the uh, door and see how it looks. I've walked in the heart of times. I've walked out the other side. It seems like you end up getting what you need. Yeah, looking down from 30,000 feet. Life's been good. So this piece of garland is something that I got from Target last year, I believe. Actually, no, maybe it was Hobby Lobby that I picked this up at. I think they still have it this year, but I ended up getting it last year and I just couldn't find a good spot for it. And I almost wasn't even going to use it. And then I decided last minute to add it on the fireplace. And it's amazing the impact it made. I felt like it just really brought together that whole space and just kind of tied it all together and made the fall decor a little bit more obvious and less subtle. It's so hard to stay on top of the world when the world keeps telling you who you should be all these people telling you what you need oh darling only you can set your spirit free pay attention now i ain't gonna stop it stop it honey everything you need is in your pocket all right, this is a cove that is up like right as you're walking up the stairs and right before you get to the top of the stairs. And as soon as we moved into this house, I knew this cove was going to be a spot where I could really do a lot and just make a big impact here but I did not have any idea how much I would love this space. So I ended up grabbing this base. I actually thrifted this one from our local Goodwill for only $9 back when we first moved here. And I love the size of it and the texture. I did not even have to DIY it or do anything to it. So anytime you were looking for large pieces like that, definitely take a look at your local thrift store. And then all the florals that I'm adding to this are either from Ikea, surprisingly, or also Hobby Lobby. Last touch that I wanted to add into this space was some hay bales and that was for two reasons one to take up some space and add a lot of texture and height to the area as well and I loved how it turned out it definitely made a huge mess so just be aware of that if you're using real hay bales but it really does make a big impact if you can find a spot for them in your home small town in a little oasis where my big dreams were gonna take me places i would make bets with the rising sun and tell him all 
I had done well, Late night walks into Lindbergh Park And sometimes I kiss a girl even after dark And I never had to shout Cause I could hear my thoughts out loud I just want to make you proud And Little Falls, you're a small town, honey Rich in love, but not in money Even if I change my tempo Not gonna let go of everything you meant to me And Little Falls, you will stay my home And if I move on when I am full grown I will still make bets with the rising sun Like I did when I was young not all my memories are good though But I wouldn't change them if I could No, and big smiles and ridiculous laughter I will fold that in And remember where I begin You are my next of kin Little Falls, you're a small town, honey Rich in love but not in money Even if I change my tempo Not gonna let go of everything you meant to me Little Falls, you will stay my home And if I move on when I am full grown I will still make bets with the rising sun Like I did when I was young so that is everything for my 2021 fall clean and decorate. I do still plan to decorate our bedroom, but that will be in a future video. So definitely stay tuned for that one. But I love how everything turned out. It's just very earthy and warm and subtle and so many textures. I am just loving this fall decor. I feel like it's my favorite that I've ever done. And I hope that you really loved it too. And I hope you got a lot of ideas and inspiration. And if nothing else, I hope it gave you some cozy fall vibes. It just made you feel happy while you watched this video today. Thank you so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful for you guys. Whether you write me a comment or send me a message or just watch the video, I am just so grateful for all of you guys. I hope you have the most amazing day. Do not forget to enter that giveaway. Like I said, I will have all that information down below for you guys. Also, if you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.